The Picks, sponsored by Madiri Care Tenders. We'll start out with Georgia at Auburn, Phil, and I guess you could call this a battle for the belt ball. <laughs> who'd have thought? I got a feeling Auburn's got a little something for them. I think their defense has gotten better under Will Muschamp. Um, you know, they, they seem to be understanding a little bit more of what he's saying. Georgia, still, uh, you know, the dysfunction there didn't go away just because they beat Kentucky. So I'm going to pick Auburn to win this game. This is a huge toss-up game for me. I'm just going to go Auburn just because they're home. I don't have a hunch at all, but you know what? I just don't like the dysfunction, as you mentioned, that Georgia has had so far this season. So I'm going to go Auburn. Next game, 3.30, right here on CBS4, Alabama and Mississippi State. Yeah, Prescott still commands the Bulldog offense, but I don't think it's going to be enough. I think Alabama, they got enough to beat Mississippi State on the road. I think the fact that it's on the road, uh, that it is the CBS game, and that they're going up against the guy who's going to be the All-SEC quarterback. Let's face yeah. it, Dak Prescott's not getting a lot of competition mm -hmm. for that either. But uh, I think Alabama's going to come to play, and they've got a target, and, and their coach is going to keep them focused. Alabama tends to only lose when you don't think they're going to lose. This is a game where a lot of people are going to go, I think Mississippi State's going to upset them, you know, and that's yeah. that's all they need. That's all the fuel they, they need. So I think Alabama will take care of business. Of course, tonight, uh, Arkansas is at LSU. Still a big game for LSU because, uh, obviously, they, they still have a chance. I mean, to get into the playoff and to get into Atlanta and Arkansas playing better of late, this apparently is going to be the way they are under Brett Bielema. Stink early, play well late. <laughs> LSU, though, man, if they were on the same game plan they did against Alabama, I don't think they're going to win. In fact, I'm picking Arkansas mainly because I picked them last week and they won, and I feel like I owe it to them. I got a feeling LSU is going to be doing that Debbie Downer thing, and Arkansas is going to get them. You got to give Brandon Allen uh, some props and think that he's maybe kind of ascended into that second best quarterback type of role. Speaking of quarterbacks, though, Brandon Harris, I mean, can we expect any more from him? I, I, Good what, question. What, what's <laughs> happened with him? You can only have so much magic before it runs out, and I think LSU and the Mad Hatter at home, I think they're gonna have enough to get that win against Arkansas. And of course, that will bring us full circle, the Florida Gators on the road in Columbia, South Carolina against the Gamecocks. You don't wanna have a letdown game after you only won by two points over Vanderbilt at home. I think this is gonna be another knockdown slugfest. If one team gets to 20, they're probably gonna win it. I think the Gators have the defense to get to 21st, I'm picking the Gators. Yeah, I'm going to pick Florida too. South Carolina's beaten the SEC East winner for the last five years. There's something you can use for motivation, and I know Coach Mack is doing that as well. South Carolina's beaten Florida the last two years, and I expect Florida to be in a, in a battle, um, but I, I got a feeling Florida's just got enough, especially because South Carolina's defense, even though they played hard and they still haven't been very good. 